I'm too young to have a 50 year old son, so how can I say happy birthday? <laughs> I mean, he was a very good boy. A wonderfully quiet little boy who never spoke until he was three years old, who never walked until he was a year and a half old, and when he did, he just went like that from there on. And um, I just have to say he's a very good, good son. Wonderful. That's it. Turn it off. Yay! 50th birthday, Ken. So, uh, because of you, one of the reasons, you're one of the reasons I appreciate cars so much and car maintenance and car care. And you've got your hands dirty many a time working on a car, and I appreciate that, so I'm doing the same thing. Anyway, yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, one of the things I, I'm upset about is you're 50, you're going at 50 at this point, and you still have more hair than I do. So, but, you know, if that's... But a high forehead. How do I get out of this? How do I get out of this? Anyway. But a high, you know what a high forehead Show them your engine. <laughs> oh, yeah, you want to see... Uh, yes, this is a. This is a. Let's go. This is, this is one of the things that keeps. Now so remember the family ritual every time what? when you came over, you ever had. To oh yeah! Oh yeah! Boy, you want to see my engine? Okay. Pressure that. Yes. Yes, this is this would be a good account, Chrysler 2.2 liter camshaft. Right there, powerful motor. I mean it, it sent a Corvette into the weeds. <laughs> That's my motor. That's my nephew. What? Anyway. Happy 50th, I'm catching up with you. And I hope I'm doing as good as you are when I'm 50. <laughs> Birthdays are a time for reminiscing. Every time you hit a benchmark like 30, 40, or 50, I'm sure. I was trying to explain to Casey that in the old days, when cars, <laughs> when cars meant something, every time anyone came to a family picnic or birthday party and had a new car, we always had to open up the engine. And all the guys and gals would hang around the cars, mostly the guys, to say, wow, look at that. It's got an air cooler, it's got a hose, it's got a radiator, just like all the other engines. Kenny. That's nice. <laughs> he was a fair hearts player. A fair golfer. A fair golfer. Art, we used to always take a deck of cards with us and then it was kind of slow, we'd stop, it'd be Harry and, and myself and, you, and, and Kenneth. Who was the other guy? Was that you, George? I played it a time or two. But, uh, Lander, hey, I think it's pretty good. Like when we used to go hunting once, or he'd get outside, we'd go, we used to go grouse hunting, and went goose hunting out of Mosquito Lake, and we used to go grouse hunting, and we even went grouse hunting when it was below zero. I bet he would never think of doing that today. <laughs> He used to have the he used to have the newest car, so he used to be the driver. We used to go out in the snow, everything. Oh yeah, really. He really is. To get his hands dirty once in a while, fooling around with a car when he didn't always have a brand new Cadillac or something like that. He used to be able to work on a car a little bit. Now he probably doesn't even put the gas in himself. <laughs> To the eye, the Lexus LS400 looks like an elegantly contoured luxury sedan. To the wind, however, it doesn't look like much. The Lexus LS400, 
most aerodynamic luxury sedan in America. Does she speak? No, she barks, but she doesn't speak. Well, can you get her to bark? No, I can't get her to bark. Can you bark, Maggie? Huh? No, come on. Oh, why don't you say happy birthday from your two girls or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> well, you just did it for us. Sit. There. Say, we both wish you happy birthday. And don't you think you could bark for us? Huh? We know how happy you are to have this surprise, and we've spent all of our time planning for it, and I'm sorry Maggie won't be here tomorrow for you to see it, but uh, she'll she'll be over at somebody's house visiting so that you can't kick her in person. You can have to kick me instead. Happy 50th birthday, Dad. Thanks for all your help with the house. Say, aren't you Ken Dixon? Huh? Aren't you Ken Dixon? I am. Well, I'm from Friday. We gave my dad magic. He always told me to come here and eat pop and fresh rolls or bacon to serve rolls with my friend pop under the tree. Play a little baseball on the oval. Probably put a road in there. Because I got the red pop.
Happy 50th. Don't try to be in a hurry because you're never going to catch up with me. I want that well understood. You'll never catch up to me. But anyway, I hope you have a fantastic birthday and I sincerely hope that uh, that uh, you have uh, many more. Not, not 50 birthdays, but <laughs> I just hope you have many more. That's a sincere wish from a, to a man that I consider a very good friend. On his 50th birthday, look, in, look at Ken. Is he taping that? Happy birthday. Happy Are you birthday, going? Ken. Happy birthday, Ken. Many, many more. And uh, when you need another haircut, looks a little ragged around the edges, stop in and see Nancy and we'll, right? Oh, yeah, I guess we'll so. We'll fix you right up. And, uh, That's enough. You have a good party. <laughs> I didn't make a fool of myself in front of all these people. She's standing there like a police star. But. Is that my good side? <laughs> Happy birthday, Ken. Is that what you're taking? Mm -hmm. yeah, I hope I'm around 50 more years to bug you. <laughs> and you will be. And will be. All right, hurry up. We're running out of battery. Well, what do you want us to do? Say happy birthday. Just say happy birthday, Ken. Happy birthday, Ken. Many more. Happy birthday, Ken. Now do your dance. Now do your dance. Ta -ta -ta -ta. <laughs> no. You're not going to do it? <laughs> not for the camera? You just did it for us. Nick, I hope that uh, you last at least another 50 and you enjoy them as much as you have the first. As one old timer to another, uh, uh, when you reach 83, you'll probably still be uh, doing what you like to do. Happy birthday to you. I'm not going to sing because my singing is pretty lousy. We're glad to see that you finally made 50. Now you can join ARP. Five more years. And hit 55, you can go down to Denny's and read the, use the senior citizen menu. Have a good time. Good luck. See ya. In the late 1960s, Ken Dixon invented the plastic bonded grinding wheel in this house on Elmar in Shaker Heights, Ohio. He started making his first wheels in the garage and soon needed a factory. It was on Campbell Wood Road in Willoughby. It was soon, soon outgrown. This was rented next to B&G Machine. This office was built inside the facility. All right. Happy birthday, Ken. Many more from B&G Machine Company. Here's Research Brace's current home. We've been here since 1975. Probably be here till we die. Country Club, where most of research abrasive profits have been funneled. Mr. Dixon from Bill. All right. Well, Ken, we really miss you tonight, but we're all busy putting together this series of pictures that shows you from a child to where you are now, getting skinnier as each year goes by. And we're glad that you're the skinniest you've ever been right now. And look at all of these guys standing over here. Look at them. They're so, they're so interested in talking to you. Where's Dixon? Where's Dixon? They're so interested in talking to you, The gym junkies are here. Where's look, Kenny, you know we all showed up. It's now 4 o'clock in the morning. Six Roche lots. Good players lose lots. I'd like to wish you a very happy birthday, Mr. Dixon. I understand you're going to be the, you're going to get to the big 5-0 this weekend. So it's a pleasure to be a shaker with you, and I hope we have many more years together here. And I thank you sincerely for me, for me and my staff. May God bless you and you and your family. Okay. Happy birthday, Mr. Dixon. And it's mine too, and many more to come for you. And it's a pleasure of knowing you here at Shaker High School. Thank you. Where's Kenny at? It's Wednesday night. We miss him.